folks, Kyle here, Dark Dirty Outdoors. Welcome back and thanks so much for watching. Hey, I really, really appreciate it. If you like fishing videos, hunting videos, kayaking videos, all that kind of fun stuff, be sure and hit the subscribe button. Hey, today um, I'm out here at Elyseville Lake uh, doing a little fishing and I thought I would do a quick uh, review for my trolling motor. As some of you may recall, I had some, some trouble with that uh, earlier this year and uh, stick around, I'll detail some of that and uh, I'll show you some of the features of my trolling motor. Okay folks, there is my trolling motor. It is the Minn Kota Power Drive V2. That is a 55 pound thrust trolling motor that is a 12 volt. And uh, it's got a 54 inch shaft. So this boat is a uh, 15 and a half foot spectrum. And uh, it fits it perfectly. Um, it's got enough power to, to, to move it around, and uh, I'm I'm more than happy with the, you know, as far as the the power that that trolling motor has. It's it's just that's perfect for this boat. I wouldn't need anything that was more than that. Uh, all and there's not a whole lot to the to the unit itself. It's got this uh, battery test checker. I'm at three. Three bars out of four. This is the uh, power head. Really about all that you need to do is hit that button to sync your remote with the power head. I actually had my power head went bad on my, my unit. That was the trouble that I had this spring. And I found out it was probably because I was uh, keeping my trolling motor connected while I was driving up and down the road to, to my fishing spot. And uh, that's a GPS you know, impacted unit. So I think all that jostling around really, really had a negative impact on that. Okay. So as you can see, there's no, I mean, mind you, there's, there's cords here, but <laughs> it is, a, there's no foot pedal anywhere around here. It's, this is the remote control for it. So it is, it is, as you can see, remote controlled. I can uh, hit left or right to, to d decide I want to change directions. It's got a speed. I don't know if you can tell. Get us uh, get the horizon in here, and you can tell I'm speeding up. Let's head us right for the bank, right? Yes, we're definitely speeding up. Oh my gosh! Turn, turn, turn. That's where you hope the battery hasn't died, and it. <laughs> won't stop listening to you or to your remotes commands so I've got it set on uh, navigational heading right now and that is my favorite feature and I like it because when I change the direction that I want the boat to go the trolling motor locks in on a heading and it will do everything it can to maintain that heading so as wind affects the boat current affects the boat uh, weight from other boats affects the positioning of the boat the trolling motor will constantly correct for all of those things and try to get the boat to go on that heading that you gave it so I'm gonna turn the motor sideways for just a second if I didn't have it on navigational setting if the boat got knocked sideways Instead of going that way, I can't help it. instead of going that way uh, down the bank, I might be going that way straight toward the bank. Whereas navigational heading, once I set it parallel to the bank, if the boat gets knocked out of parallel, the trolling motor will work to correct that. So again, that's that's my favorite feature. So my my thumb is kind of going on it and off of it. It's that little end button. That is navigational heading. And you see it shows the end right here. If I punch it, see the end goes away. So put the end back on there. That's using GPS na satellite navigation to determine, hey, the, he wants this heading. Where I'm going to keep the boat on that heading. Um... You've got the R button for record a track, start and stop. 
This is the power button. This is your anchor, your spot lock. People love that. This is speed up, speed down, turn left, turn right, turn your propeller on. Okay, this button down here, that is cruise control. It's kind of a simpler form of the navigational autopilot feature. So I don't really use it ever. Um, the advanced navigational autopilot feature is so much better. Um, cruise control, I guess, if you're maintaining your speed and that's all you're really interested in doing, maybe. I don't know. I just really don't use it. This is a simple backlight. And then uh, the last button down here in the lower right hand corner, that arrow button, that is a spot lock recall. So if you use the anchor point or spot lock and then you go off of it and you want to recall it and come right back to that spot, then you hit that button and it will bring you right back to that spot. But normally, I just use this directional heading button and that's, that's what I use. That's all I need. Uh, once on a blue moon, I'll use the anchor button, the, the spot lock button. They shouldn't call it spot lock because it's it wanders quite a bit. I think they say it's got a 10-foot wander. You could probably double that. It's probably got about a 20-foot wander. On days, you know, today's relatively calm. On days that are calm like this, it's, it's relatively reliable. But if it's really windy or blustery and you're not you're kind of out in it you're just going to be rocking all over the place so anyway there's that's some basics on my trolling motor um i'll have to remember when i get to the dock to disconnect the battery so that uh i don't have that power head go bad again anyway guys as always Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully next time I'll bring you some fish. <laughs>